Hey everyone, I'm Rush Locke and this is Kerbal Space Program and today we're going to go through intermediate construction. Let's see Werner, hello again. Glad you could come back. To get started, go ahead and enter the VAB and I'll give you the overview of what we're building today. Here we are again now to, to business. If you remember, in our last construction tutorial, we covered how to build a simple hopper and some of the basics of the construction area. In this tutorial, we'll expand your knowledge of some of the more useful features in the VAB. It will build a more complex craft that will be able to get us out of the atmosphere. To build our new design, let's start with the craft we built in the basic construction tutorial, though this one is just called hopper. This will save us a little bit of time and the accounting department is always happy when we save on time. Uh, click on the open button in the top right corner and load the hopper, then remove its RT5 flea motor. Uh, we need to find open. And there's the hopper. And... Because we just load it. There we go. Once we get rid of the hopper, just press delete. Unlike last time, we won't be bringing the whole vessel back so we can change our parachutes stats from what we used before. Right click on the parachute and verify that its deployment altitude is set to a thousand meters as last time. Uh, yep. Uh, but also set the minimum pressure slider all the way to the right. 0.75, I guess like this, there we go. That corresponds to an altitude on Kerbin of about two kilometers and means a much shorter time hanging around during descent. First off, let's change the name of our craft and the description if you want. So that we'll have, we will still have our trash can special for later on. Simply change the name to something other than Hopper and we can proceed. Uh, we'll just go here and we'll call it uh, Hopper 2. Or we'll uh, talk about the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Great, for this craft, we are going to give the ship some additional purpose by attaching a science experiment. We could run these experiments during our travels and get valuable science data for uh, Kerbal Kind. There are a number of science experiments to be performed. I just realized the parachute came off. There we go. Um, but the moment we only have the mystery goo containment unit available, switch to science tab to look for it. Uh, science tab. One of these, I'm guessing. Nope. This one of the this is one of the most basic scientific experiments Kerbal scientists have devised. And one of the first things that they want to try and understand better. I mean, they don't even know uh, what color the goo is. We can't necessarily find the science tab. None of these say science. Oh, it's probably one of these. There we go. When you pick up the part, you will see that it's designed to attach to the sides of, your, of other parts uh, radially. If we attach only one of these, then during flight, our craft will be unbalanced. One way to solve this is to add an extra goo container on the opposite side of the rocket so they balance. Luckily we have a symmetry tool to help here. These buttons control symmetry highlighted and angle snap and can be found on the lower left of the screen. Press the symmetry button or the X key to cycle through the available symmetry modes. To get this 2x, to get this, oh, set this to 2x and then pick up and place a mystery goo container unit on the side of the pod near the top. You will notice that a second one has been placed opposite the first one uh, by the symmetry tool. If you had already placed one on canister, pick it up, make sure symmetry is set correctly, place it again so that it has a duplicate on the other side. Remember to place the canisters near the, the nose of the pod. Uh, so we want to go ahead and find X. I'm guessing it's like that. You can cycle through a lot of options, it looks like. Uh, take one of these, come over here, and you can see how the two are being maneuvered around. We go near the, no near the nose, it says. So. Uh, Go there. 
We had too many more parts here. The craft we are making will be too heavy to survive re-entry safely and too heavy to be slowed by our parachute, leading to sudden impact syndrome. So we will need to add a decoupler below the pod. Decouplers can be found in the coupling tab and will let us split the craft when we no longer need the lower parts. We won't need to be able to recover the discarded parts, but at least our craft and our Kerbal will survive re-entry and landing. Decouplers can be used in many ways, but for now, let's just add one of these to the bottom of the pod. Go to the coupling tab and grab a DT-12 and place it on the coupling tab. Grab one of these, throw it underneath there, there we go. Note that stack decouplers have arrows. Uh, the arrows show which side is the side that decouples. Make sure that your decoupler arrow is pointing up towards the pod. It will be by default. Well done. You'll recall, I hope, that in the previous tutorial we had our to adjust the staging stack when we added the engine to our earlier rocket. When you add a decoupler, the extra stra stage is automatically added in the stack or to the stack so that any new parts below it, the decoupler, won't be staged at the same time as those above it. You can, of course, still move all these around, but hopefully this will save you some time as you go. If you ever want to return to this uh, default staging setup, click the reset button at the bottom of the staging stack. This time we are going to use a liquid propellant rocket engine. Unlike solid rock, uh, rocket motors, these engines don't carry their own propellants with them, so we need to add some fuel tanks. Go to the fuel tanks tab. We are still using these early parts, so there are only FTL uh, or FLT 100s available. This is another area, like engines, where advancement brings bigger and better parts. Okay. We're going to need five of these tanks to get us to space. Before you grab five tanks from the part toolbox, though, let me give you another tip. Because efficiency is my middle name, it goes Raptor Vaughn. Once you play, place the first tank on the rocket, you can duplicate that by holding the left Alt key and clicking on the tank. You can do this on the bottom tank a few times and quickly get the five of these attached without having to go back to the, the toolbox. Add five tanks to the vessel and we can proceed. So we're going to click and drag one of these. Whoops. I just need to click it one time, I guess. And do that and then Alt left click or Alt left. Two. Need to change the uh, orientation of the camera here. One, two, three, four. Okay. See, good. Switch over to the engines tab now. Let's go find some engines. The swivel engine you see here is obviously different from the flea we used before. This is a liquid engine and it needs and burns both liquid fuel and oxidizer. Funny enough, funnily enough, these, uh, that's what we just added to the rocket. Attach the swivel to the bottom of the rocket stack now, and keep an eye on the staging stack to see how it changes. All right, so grab this, put that over here, hit out of the extra stage. We are almost there and you're doing fine. Maybe not as speedily as someone my caliber though. The last thing we are going to need to do is to give the rocket a little better stability so it keeps going the way we want it to go. We will achieve this by adding some fins near the bottom of the rocket. Fins can be found in the, aer in the aerodynamics tab. Let's go find that real quick. Set the symmetry to 4, so we use X to prove that. So you can turn on the angle snap. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, also turn on angle snap. I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing it's this. I'm guessing that's angle. Or by pressing C, does that toggle it? It does, okay. Drop a basic fin on the last rocket tank. You'll see the other three symmetry counterparts will be placed as well. So grab this, go over here. You can see how four of them are being placed. Instead of put them on the last of the tanks, like so. 
Excellent. We've now got a rocket that will let us reach for the stars. Admittedly, I did say reach for, as this is a basic rocket, which can't achieve orbit. But on the bright side, that means re-entry will also be basic. You've done a great job in building a basic hopper and a suborbital, uh, suborbit capable rocket. Hopefully you've learned a few things about how to build a craft and, uh, and how to use some of these shortcuts that are here, that are in here. Feel free to hang around a bit and try your hand at other things too. Or perhaps you sh uh, could look at the next lesson on suborbital flight, where we will see just how well this rocket performs. Or head over to the science tutorial to learn how to, to advance your career and unlock more parts. If you could show yourself out on the construction facility with the red button on the top right when you've done experimenting, that would be great. Off Peterson. Let's see. Any vessels you create here will be lost when you exit. This is just for playing around. Okay. So, like, we won't take this one to the next uh, tutorial. Speaking of which, we'll see you in that next video.